Hello viewers, Super GT here. Welcome to the first video of the McLaren World's Fastest Gamer qualification on Forza Motorsport 6. So, quick introduction whilst we go through the grid. Uh, so this is a five round championship for, oh well, the winner basically gets a spot at the World's Fastest Gamer competition finals at the McLaren Technology Centre later this year. There's a five day competition. The winner of that will become a test driver or a McLaren simulator test driver for a year. So a very, very big prize on offer. So one of the qualification methods is through Forza. The winner of this championship will become one of the 10 who will fight out for that job. So the first race here is Daytona, first round of five. And uh, in each round there are two races, so of course this is race number one. Qualified in 10th, or, or 9th I was, sorry. Um, and uh, just going down to 10th with a poor start. Plenty of chaos, we'll come to that start later in the video. And I've, I've got a clip to show you regarding that. So Race Boy here, down in 8th, he, he did start 3rd. So getting caught up in all that uh, carnage through turn one and two. Side by side now, coming into turn number four, the fast left, I just grazed the curb. You see they're just gonna throw me sideways. And that's gonna give them a nice run around the outside, which gives them now the inside for turn number five. So, still in ninth. So I did gain a couple of positions, but then I did lose some at the same time. So I've stayed exactly where I started. So nothing gained or lost at the moment. But you can see there at the front, Car Lightning. So we're very good drivers in this championship. Car Lightning out at the front. Van Mazik's chasing him down. I have a poor run through the bus stop chicane. And as you can see there, Race Boy is just going to open up a good 100 feet on me there. I'm going to fast forward because a lot of this, not much happens on the oval, of course. It is just flat out. But then I don't, I don't think I had quite the right setup. You can see here. Dr. Bex, um, probably with less aero, uh, managing to get better slipstream on the oval. But then I go a little bit too deep on the brakes, and that's going to let two of them through. Bam, seven follows Bex through. So I've gone down into 11th. They're side by side into the International horse, uh, Horseshoe, turn number three. And I think Bex is just about going to get that one. DTRM Rossi on my side there, just about keeping 11th place into the fast left. You see there just how close the pack is up ahead. Uh, Lightning and Azix have got away, but from third down to pretty much the back of the pack here, it is almost nose to tail. So very close racing indeed. And it's always gonna be like that. It's always good actually, I think, being in um, one car. And you see there, Bex going up the inside of seven. I don't really think that move was on, to be honest. I, I don't think he could have made it cleanly. And he didn't, uh, just forcing seven wide there with contact. And then, well, it's good for me, good news for me, because I'm going to go up into ninth. Uh, it's going to be a drag race then uh, towards the international bus stop, or the bus stop uh, chicane at the back of the track here. Just going to come across, look for that banner on the right-hand side, the Daytona writing on the wall. That's where you're braking pretty much just before that. And again, just coming through there, not, not the best run, but we are through just about, there's a big gap to 8th. And coming to the first uh, corner on lap number 3, uh, Bex is going to have another look, but I've just about got on the brakes in time. Just going to swing across there on the bottom of the screen. And this is where it all goes wrong. This is why you should always check that everything is working before you ever play a serious race in, well, on any Xbox game really. Because going through here, yes, the controller disconnected. Now I'm pretty sure I checked it and it had half the battery, but maybe as a precaution from now on, I'll just plug the wire in and then that won't happen. So that was very silly. I finished dead last in that race, 16th out of 16. Lightning doing a very good job to win. Azix did well to chase him down for most of it. So you can see here, starting 16th, the grid for the second race is the result of the first race. So starting at the back, we've got plenty of work to do. But in a way, the pressure's off. I, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself on this championship. Um, it's unlikely that I'm going to you know, win it. It's very unlikely indeed. With the likes of Lightning and Azix in there. Uh, we have a major pile-up once again. 
couple of guys round. I think that was Bam Faztek. I'm not sure on the other name. Look up the inside of Rossi. It's not quite going to happen into turn three. But I'm going two positions. I think it's Prod Reaper involved as well, who is now in 15th. But we do have a good couple of hundred feet on, on them. So they probably shouldn't be a factor in this race. We can just focus on going for someone else is off there, but they have just managed to return to the circuit. So they haven't gained another position. But with, with racing this close and aggressive as it is, um, there's definitely uh, there's definitely room for making positions up through other people's mistakes and crashes. Uh, definitely try, just going to try and be careful mainly. I think that's usually been my approach in these races, just try to pick up pick up the pieces from other people's accidents. I guess I've practiced that quite a lot from playing the hoppers. Now down the back straight, or well, the main straight now, going to tuck into the slipstream. I don't think my top end was the best. But when, when you're in that slipstream, you do get to your top speed a lot quicker. So just managing to pull past uh, Rossi there. I think he made the mistake of going out wide. So there were two abreast. That let me get alongside him. And then I eventually get the position. So up into 13th now. Looking at the back of HCR Grizzly. And he's behind Dr. Bex as we go into turn three. A little bit late on the brakes. But we are just going to cover off M. Rossi there from behind. So we're just keeping our positions nicely. And then one more lap later, uh, lap number three, into the same corner. We've got someone off there, um, very laggy indeed, and it seems to be Prod Captain Slow. Now, we're going to have a very interesting race, let's put it that way. Or interesting is putting it mildly as um, we exit turn three, heading to turn four. One lap later, it's lap number four now, into turn four. The fast left, that curve can mess you up. And then going into here, I think Grizzly just just misjudged his breaking point he's going to slam into the side of Dr Bex so once again I've made a double overtake on other people's uh, errors so another collision there and I've gained out of it up into 10 up in the top 10 you see there the gap is fairly big though to the group ahead but as we skip towards the chicane same lap so just a couple of seconds later all three of them seem to get in some massive kerfuffle with each other and you can see there the gap has come right down. So 7th place is on here. 6th place is a good couple of hundred feet ahead there. Well around the oval. But uh, we do have a group here. So when you get these groups battling, they do they do slow each other down. And it just gives a chance to anyone behind. Looking at the map, it is a fairly close group of about 6 or 7 here. So it might get uh, quite aggressive from here on in. Into, first, into the first turn then. Um, Paul 9339 there just losing out to uh, the two BAM guys so we've got BAM 7 and BAM Renaud we're coming through into the horseshoe Renaud a little bit wide onto the grass but he's just going to have the inside line and hold it nicely notice here a theme I'm not uh, not going into the back of the guys ahead just getting as close as I can without making that contact at all uh, just trying to make sure that uh, we are uh, racing cleanly here and not cause any more accidents than there need to be. So into turn number five, the hairpin. This is what really annoyed me. So Dr. Beck's tapping me wide, putting me out of position. We're losing a second here to the guys ahead. And then he's just going to go for the lunge into the next turn. I kind of covered it off and I did break very late. And he did go through. But what really annoyed me about that is people tapping you from behind, putting you in an awkward position, because obviously I've got a slower exit than what I would have done. And then just capitalising on it by overtaking you at the next next corner, which I don't think is very sport sporting at all. Because I wouldn't I wouldn't want to hit someone, put them out of position, and then overtake them at the next uh, corner. So I feel like, in a way, that's it's kind of like an extended version of a bump and run. You've bumped them at one corner, put them out of position, and then overtake them at the next one. Um, so that kind of annoyed me a little bit that I did and it doesn't seem like much but it is annoying when you get when you get constantly tapped from behind and Captain Slow there coming weighing in um, I don't think that move was quite there I was always going to come across but I've got the inside line now for turn number three so it looks like I'm going to keep 11th place it's coming back for a late apex it's getting very hairy up ahead as you can see plenty of guys battling still um, I think that's Bam 7 at the front of the pack or, the, or this group managing to get away um, from all our battling into turn number four then or five then sorry and again uh, reaper's just going to come in so, sorry not reaper captain slow with just a very strong move it just seems like 
not many people could overtake in this race without making any contact and it just made me I don't know I, I just I always ended up driving really angrily in this race I just couldn't quite keep a calm head on me but um, it was frustrating it was very frustrating being pushed around so much when you're just trying to race clean yourself so I, I kind of got unhappy I just edged him wide and just went through back up into 11th um, yeah not the best move but um, I was just so annoyed with how everyone was being so aggressive with the contact and uh, the bumping and running um, so back up into 11th it's not the best position to be in obviously but uh, we're just going to try and do our best consistency is a major factor of course in, in a championship so you just have to make sure that you have consistent results obviously the first race wasn't the best but uh, I am still in the top lobby and then again more contact it's just like he has no awareness at all so this is a clip of him Captain Slow at the start of the race so first off overtaking off the track beyond the yellow lines ramming off BAM7 keeping his foot in and then ramming Race Boy that's why Race Boy went so far down um, so yeah just just total lack of awareness ramming one guy off keeping your foot in and then ramming the next guy off it's just really bad driving and it just I just got so annoyed with this guy for just racing so poorly so I was quite happy just to block him off for the entire race I wasn't going to get a good result so I was just quite happy to let the other guys just get so far ahead and then this guy I was just going to block him off I was quite happy to do that for the whole race so I drove quite badly I think overall um, my performance wasn't the best I was making a fair few mistakes my pace was okay low 47s uh, I think the very quickest guys were doing like mid 46s the likes of your Lightnings and Azics, but um, uh, Captain Slow did manage to go through. I did make a mistake into the first turn, and this is an example how to race. Look, just just keep close behind, but there, there doesn't need to be any contact at all. Wait for the opening. Wait for a good overtaking opportunity, rather than just forcing one open by ram or just tapping them out of the way. So again, very close, but there wasn't an opportunity. He blocked it, so I'm just going to go around the outside with no contact at all and uh, just wait for that opportunity to, to arise if it does um, to be fair he did drive fairly cleanly on these last couple of laps so it was very hard to try and get back past him and uh, in the end I, I, I'm going to finish in 12th place so I, I started 16th I've made up a couple of positions this is the top lobby uh, there were over 200 qualifiers uh, about 250 people tried to qualify so I mean to qualify 9th out of 250 is not too bad finished 12th technically out of 250 you know it's, it's okay um, we, we look forward to Sebring which is the next round on the 25th of July and of course I'll bring that to you I don't think I'll be able to do the last round because I'm going to be on holiday but um, three more videos in this championship at least so there's that to look forward to well I've gone on quite a bit in this in this video but I do hope you've enjoyed it uh, Look, I, I look forward to the next round hopefully that one can be a bit better for me but um, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Do let me know your thoughts on the races. And I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.